gets to go to work with the great Helen Mirren. That must be an oh, amazing she's, experience. She's amazing. She's um, inspiring. You know, I saw her uh, at like my neighborhood little Chinese restaurant one day here in, L in L.A. And she like had her hair in pigtails and she was wearing jeans and a little gingham top. I'm like, that's Helen Mirren. That's she, was, Helen. <laughs> she was so like just a regular gal, just out having some Chinese she's, food. She's always like that. Um, first day of rehearsal, she came up and introduced herself to me and um, the other girl who's playing my role too mm -hmm. and she was just so casually talking to us and she kind of blends in with everyone and you know people that are so famous like that sometimes you know you get a little nervous because you don't know if they're going to be you know not what you think them to be but um right. i think she's even more inspiring once you meet her because she's just such a great person to be around and yeah you know the show is you know kind of nearing an end but she's still thinking of what can we do to make this better? Like, you know, she ah. was like, how about we go down together so then the audience connects with the same person? And, you know, one time she was like, why don't you face a little more this way? Because it's such a great line, and I want this side of the audience to see you. And uh, she's constantly, you know, thinking about what she can do to make the show better. And obviously she could probably blow it off because she's so amazing anyway. But just... um. But watching her being so dedicated to what she does is really inspiring. Wow. And um, there was recently a, a prime minister election yes. in London, so that affected the show. We had to change some lines. You've actually adjusted it for current We did, because there is a present meeting with one of her prime ministers, and he... So they had to mention the election, because it's supposed to be present time, and then when he got reelected, they... um change some of the script for that so it would um be accurately present day wow. which is kind of cool yeah what a fabulous education you're getting so you're a veteran of living in new york now this is your second year right yes now, off and on which i i have a great a great picture of some of the benefits of living in new york here you are, you know, just hanging out with your best friend, Hugh Jackman. Got that? Oh, my gosh. I, this was, like, last week he came to our show. That's so funny. It's very exciting. Yeah. So I'm doing a concert musical called Merman's Apprentice. Yes. And it's about this girl who runs away from home and is obsessed with Ethel Merman. And she ends up running into her and meeting uh -huh. her. And they end up... Ethel kind of ends up taking her under her wing because she can sing, and her producer ends up producing, deciding to produce an all-child cast of Hello, Dolly! with <laughs> Muriel Plackenstein, the girl, will star in it, and so she becomes Merman's Apprentice. Oh, that's hilarious, and you yes. are doing this with the great Clea Blackhurst. She is so talented. Yes! I haven't met her yet, oh, but I'm going to fantastic. soon. I'm very excited. I think next week we're going to have a rehearsal together. Yeah. Um, so this is at Birdland, Birdland Jazz Club, part of their Broadway at Birdland series. So how did you get involved in that? It was just an audition that my um, agent was like, you know, why don't you go audition for this? And um, I did, and I ended up getting called back for it, and then here I am. And here you are. My siblings are a huge part of support system for me. Right. They um, support me in everything that I do, and I try to support them in whatever they want to do. And um, we all have a really strong bond together. We all um, play together and talk together and laugh together. And um, I don't think I could do it without them. You know, being here um, at the audience... I was away from them for a while because they didn't come and live with me here. Right. And it was so different not having them there and being like an only child. I would be sitting around and be like, what am I going to do? <laughs> yeah, when you're and used to a house full of companions. Oh, so happy. Yeah, yeah. We were so happy to um, be together and for like people or just, you know, like kids who want to be in theater, that it's also just important to be a kid and have, you know, your family. Like, I have like such a great support system with my family and friends and uh give a little shout out to all my friends that I have in St. Louis and in New York and uh 
yeah, I have fun. So. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like it and feel free to share it. And if you're new to this page, click on my face and subscribe. And uh, also, please make sure to leave a comment and let me know what you want to hear more about in the world of Cabarabia. Broadway, jazz, pop, the new Barbra Streisand record, whatever you want to talk about. <laughs>